Well, here we go. I've just got to the yard after a beautiful week off. And, oh, here we go then. Straps hanging off. That's never a good sign. Yeah. Well, look what we got on here then. Well, it's not looking good. We've we got damage already, sports fans. I'm, I'm not going to lie. So my marker board that should plug into the back of the trailer has suffered some sort of malfunction. Was it you, Danny? Did you, did you break my marker board? Did you break my marker board? Yeah. It's fucking, you South Africans, you can't trust them. They'll break anything when you're not looking. Well, apologies for the wind. Next week, be a different story, right? I've just finished wiring that light. So hopefully... Uh, well, like Meatloaf said, two out of three ain't bad. So, oh, this one ain't even work. Oh, for God. Let me give it the old magic wiggle. I'm starting to notice a common theme here, and it's me always involved. So, that was just as simple as giving the wire a bit of a wobble. So, I'm sure that's probably not going to be a problem further on the road. Put some nuts, put some bolts in here because they seem to be missing now. Well, we got new bolts in here now. Don't worry about that one being slightly longer, it's fine. Next thing we got to turn our attention to are these flaming things, you know, to stop cyclists killing themselves. Right, um, which side's this? Is this this side? Well, it's probably not going to, yeah, that'll do good enough. That'll go in there. I have got holes in the trailer that these line up with, but of course, somebody left a press wheel in the way, so, <sighs> yep, we'll have to deal with this little problem now, so. I mean, the passenger side is no problem. I can probably get both. I ain't going to put both of them in, but if I wanted to, I could. Right, I'm going to need some 13 mil headed bolts now. Go and put his spanner back. I feel like I'm something out of Minecraft here. Maybe I should wave my arms and be like this. <laughs> Excuse me, we are in a bit of a wind tunnel here, but this one's on. And that one's on. So, there we go. Okay, so there's both my convoy boards. Well, that's the front one, and this is the back one. So, I have got to put a beacon on here. Uh, I'll do that before I go. Don't worry about Johnny Flip-Flop. He's making all the noise. So, yeah. We'll get ready to go. Well, I'm ready to go. Uh, beacon, wash hands, and then uh, we'll see what we got to do. Uh, we've gone with Magnetic Mary today, only because uh, it's magnetic. And I can't be bothered to get another ratchet strap out. So hopefully, if I plug this little jobbler in here, all the flashing. Just got to do something with that cable. Well, my genius strikes again. I've gone over the top of this, let the machine do the work. There we go. So I've changed it to the flashing one, you know, for less driver irritants. Yep, so I realise it's a bit loud because I'm working down by the wheel, but I'm going to get my wheel nuts back on. Right. She's been in for service, you see, and we get this lovely box of bits after they finish destroying the nut covers. So I'll stick these on, which I didn't realise they took off until I got back in the cab. Uh, wonders it. See, you lot think I got it easy. I got to do this myself, all by my own. Right. We'll get this done. I've only got another 30 to put on, and then uh, we'll go from there. See you a bit. Uh, sorry about the wind and the beeping, but somebody's got to be busy, you know, while I'm off doing nothing. Right, so we got the GD mounted, the other mounted, the trailed, some bits. It's all strapped on, got all my guff on. It's time to hit the road. What? 
as you've seen, I just left the yard. Uh, it's Monday morning. It's half nine. Had to do a bit of strapping and stuff. Uh, yeah, so basically we are going to a place called Meinhardt in Germany. So basically, uh, yeah, just left the Eversham. Been on holiday last week, so I've got a fresh lot of driving to just absolutely hammer my card with. Um, a lorry in as clean as it normally is, I will apologise because, like I say, I was off last week. It rained most of the week before, so I didn't bother washing a lorry. And then that was on the, the UK demo that we were doing that you probably seen, but if you didn't, go and have a look at that one. It was actually quite funny. So I'll get some motorway action. It's pretty boring, but some of you guys wanted to see it, so you can have it. There we go. Um, yeah, I've just noticed something fundamentally wrong with the lorry. It was in for service last week. And what they've done is they put it in something called eco mode. Now, I don't know much about you, and you don't know much about me. But one thing I can tell you is, it don't belong in eco. Power. There we go, hang her out. See, now she's singing. Right. So, anyway, just quickly as well, also, gotta say a few hellos and I just want to say hello to Charlotte and Luke lovely to meet you at the weekend subscribers new to the channel but welcome along um, ooh, what else we got going on well we made it on the boat I mean it's not You know what I'm saying. Nice, huh? Yeah. Looks smart up inside. Right, we're gonna uh, try not to de decapitate anyone. And uh, if I can wake it all the way up the stairs by walking, we'll show you. Easy, you gotta take the stairs, man. <laughs> Easy as that. Fancy. I just get a bite to eat, and I'll see you in a bit. Well, the sun is just flat out in my eyes. Food's nice, huh? Got a nice little table for two.
Yeah, so we just arrived at Cold Auto Hof. Man's gonna have a quick shower. Bit of a boogie by the look of it. Oh yeah. And uh, see you in a bit. So I'm fairly sure I've just walked into a sex club. <clears throat> but still. Nope. Someone else, not gonna lie. <laughs> About 8,000 degrees, but I feel a lot more refreshed. It's obviously a popular place. Now, that by the way, that there's millions of people in. I would definitely recommend Auto Hof Kulb. Whether I'm saying that wrong, all right, probably wrong. This is a new one on me. Having a trunk wash. I'm trying to edit the video turns out I've lost quite a substantial part of the video it's on the iPhone I can't get it off it's an iPhone what can I say so we've just left Germany we've got to our VINs so now you're gonna see us unload so we're unloading turns out that Alvin's crane isn't quite big enough so he's come up with another solution Well, I mean, if it works, is it a bad idea? You don't have to worry about that. If anything happens now, we got it on film. <laughs> Your wheel's off the floor! Yep. Well, don't get me started on how it got there, but we got there, that's the main thing. <laughs> right, that's the biggest problem. And then we got the least biggest problem. And then we got the other big biggest problem.
So now we're just lifting it off. Well, I say we are, Alvin is. He has asked me to film, I know I'm not just here doing nothing. Oh. I am steadying it now. But don't worry, I'm not in the way. Ideal, right. Just gonna jump over on that other bed and then we'll put the drill down. Right, there we go, he's now coming down. Spetzler, lovely, but it, it's coming out of my bum. It's filming? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> <Ooh>. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, it's still filming. But don't worry, I'll edit that out. Look at this. Alright, so we've uh, got that to the back of the trailer with the IM. And we're just going to pull it off now. Ideal. Uh, just the air coming out of the trailer. You see that other side? Yeah, you're okay. Yeah, keep coming. Come this way, Alvin. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, as you are, that's fine. Come down with the front as well if you like. That's good. Yeah, you're right. the wheels are okay. Ideal. Ideal. I'm sure he's got the behaviour issues. All good. So, our wind's rigid. Meet trail drill. Not sure how this is going to get on, but we'll take a time lapse and we'll see. Okay, so after some serious, uh, serious hill start action. Ah, oh, yeah. The little forklift that could. Ideal. Tires that way. Okay. Go straight. Okay. Oh, there you're on the ramp. Should we move the ramps and then? Uh... Right. Oh, wait. That's way too much. Straighten it right now. Whoa, 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 whoa! We definitely never saw that. Okay. Just square it around like that, Alvin. It's okay, you just went over it. Oh, yeah. Look at the backside. Yeah. Oh. 
Go forward a bit, Alvin. Well, I don't think you're going to get that any closer. Oh, do you want it? 15 centimeters, I need to do you. Oh, oh well, you've come back, side. aren't you? Yeah, yeah. You've come back. Well, after some wrangling and some forklift driving and some German words that I'm sure are bad, the Alvin Sebon. No, that's French. Wow, what a beautiful day. It's, uh, hello, it's Wednesday. Uh, what are we are now? Dinner time, 17 degrees. Got my t-shirt on, sports fans. I've just had a curry, so that's probably all over my face. Ah, right, so, yeah, Wednesday, we made it back to Jabiq. I don't know how you say it, but that's probably how it is. We got down to Alwyn's, went out a bit of dinner with him and his family, lovely. I didn't film any of that because it's their house and their, their kids was about lovely people. Um, so yeah, so never filmed any of that because it was just, it didn't feel right to and you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, we got unloaded. You've probably seen all of that already, so. Um, I'm just wasting my time really but yeah no just want to say thank you for watching again the windows windows being up now T-Bone's ringing me now he's just hang up it's fine make sure we're still recording yep still recording so yeah when you see this T-Bone that was you <laughs> yeah just um, appreciate you watching I know it's a little bit different but that's what you want, that's what you want, isn't it? So, right, see you on the next one.